about acne face maps. Face mapping originates from ancient Chinese and Ayurvedic medication. The conventional method links specific areas of acne on the face to help problems affecting organs or systems in other places in the body. There is little scientific proof to support the theory that health concerns with organs in the body relate to where acne breaks out on the face. However, some research study does suggest that particular elements can associate with acne in specific areas of the face. We take a look at the evidence in this article. Acne locations and their causes. Acne develops when the pores in the skin become obstructed with dead skin cells and oil. The outcome is whiteheads and blackheads. Bacteria called Propionibacterium acne likewise contribute to the inflammation, which leads to the red bumps that identify acne. Specific areas of the face may be more vulnerable to acne breakouts for numerous factors. Where is your acne? Hairline, hair items and or cosmetics. T-zone, forehead, nose, and chin, oily skin. Cheeks, rubbing or friction, pressing versus your pillow or cellular phone. Jawline, hormonal changes hairline and temples. Acne around the hairline and temples, called forehead acne, may be due to making use of certain hair items. When this holds true, it is called pomade acne. This can impact both males and females with any skin type. When oily or waxy hair products spread to the close-by skin of the face, they can block the pores. This can trigger acne breakouts. Certain ingredients in cosmetic items, particularly in items for smoothing the hair, might cause acne. These components include cyclopentasiloxane, dimethicone, PVPDMAPA, acrylates, panthenol, silicone, quaternium 70, oils, petrolatum. Utilizing easier formulas or avoiding these active ingredients in hair care items may help prevent acne from forming around the hairline. It is particularly essential to avoid oily hair products from entering into contact with the face. T-zone forehead, nose, and chin. The sebaceous glands produce sebum, which is an oily compound that hydrates and secures the skin. Excess sebum production can cause acne. Additional oil production can suggest that breakouts might happen regularly in these areas than other parts of the face. One research study looked at 914 people with acne. The researchers found a link between sebum production and the quantity of acne in the T-zone, which covers the forehead and nose, more youthful individuals with acne had more acne around the U-zone, which covers the cheeks and chin than in the T-zone. Cheeks. A lady taking a look at the acne on her cheek. Friction or rubbing of the skin might trigger acne on the cheeks. Breakouts on the cheeks can take place as an outcome of acne mechanica, which establishes due to friction or rubbing of the skin. For instance, this may happen when an individual holds a cell phone against their face, when they move versus the pillow in their sleep, and when they wear a piece of equipment or clothing that has a chin strap. Acne mechanica is not restricted to the cheeks, however. It can happen in different locations of the body depending upon the specific occlusive clothing or activity. It is most commonly acknowledged in professional athletes. Addressing the cause of friction against the skin typically results in the enhancement of the acne. Jawline. Scientists have tended to connect acne around the jawline to variations in hormonal agents. However, other researchers have challenged and refuted this notion. There is no evidence to suggest that acne around the jaw and chin will accurately predict if a person has a hormonal disruption. In both males and women, the adrenal glands produce a hormonal agent called DS. One research study discovered that women with adult acne had mild to reasonably elevated levels of this hormonal agent. Research has likewise found that 39-85% of females with acne have worse acne in the days prior to menstruation. Given that lots of people with acne do not have hormone abnormalities, however, other factors such as increased level of sensitivity of oil glands to hormonal agents may be the cause.